Well, it's that time for another show. In this episode, we've got a couple features. First off, we have a street challenge trad lifestyle. So that's gonna be coming up first. Second, we have a special version of our street interviews with uh, two of your favorite media personalities from the Gritty Bowman. So uh, before we get to that, I wanna make a few announcements. First off, if you haven't saw, seen the, uh, the Alpha Bow Hunting Challenge intro, the, uh, the events information that is now up, you can check that out at alphabowhunting.com on the events page or on YouTube. Also, we will be coming up with our first hunt of the year or featuring our first hunt of the year. It's a high country mule deer hunt Braid and I went on and that's gonna be coming up in a few days as well. So look forward to, to checking that out. Um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the street, the street challenge. First things first, you guys are playing for 20 bucks, you three, okay? So you got a one or three shot of winning 20 bucks. Here's your challenge. Go ahead and bring your bows up for me. Set it in line at 20 yards here, bows on the ground, each of you, and then take about three or four steps back. Go ahead and just sit on the ground. You're just going to pick it up and get ready to shoot it. So, I'm going to hand you that. I'm going to hand you that. I'm going to hand you that. Okay, when I say go, <clears throat> you guys go to the ground, stand that nickel up on its end. Okay, once it's standing up on its end, come up to the line, shoot it. First person to pop a balloon, you're going to get the money. So, it's pretty simple, but just going to add a little bit of element to that uh, fine motor skills, right? So when I say go, you guys kneel, sit, lay down, whatever you need to do. Get, the, get that nickel standing on its side, okay? Ready? Go! Congratulations, right. sir. Real quick, pan over right here. This is one smart individual, because I didn't say any rules. Take a look at that. <laughs> Good job, Fuji. Okay. That trad group's uh, always a fun group to, to play around with, so I'm looking forward to doing more street challenges with, uh, with the Trad Life crew. So, like I mentioned before, we've got a special version of the street interviews with uh, Aaron and Brian with the Gritty Bowman. And a lot of times when I pose the right questions to Aaron, I just need to step back and, and just enjoy the, enjoy the feedback because it's always a good laugh. So I hope you enjoy it too. Brian, I need you second in line. Okay, Aaron. Sir, yes sir. These are uh, part of our street interview section for the Alpha Bow Hunting YouTube page. So, how's my hair? I'm gonna throw you a lollipop right out the gate, okay? All right. Um, one of the questions we've been asking is your preference: kinetic energy or speed? Western bow hunting. Can I say momentum? Uh, that, that, that's that, you can say whatever you want to say, right? Momentum is is key for me. I don't mm -hmm. worry about speed at all. Okay. Um, well, I try to keep my bow between 265 and 280. That's what I'm comfortable with. Right. And uh, in an arrow weighing over 500 grains. Fair enough. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna switch the camera here to Brian, Mr. Uh, part two of the dynamic duo here with the, the gritty Bowman. Hit me, Brian. <clears throat> if you were to have gotten attacked in the wilderness, right, or you have your choice, would you rather get attacked by a pack of wolves or a grizzly bear? If I had my choice, I would choose a pack of wolves. Okay. Yeah, any explanation explanation to that? I feel like Mowgli. Like I have a thing with dogs and canines. I think I could fend myself better. That okay. Way. Yeah. And yeah. it's a mental game. With the grizzly bear, you're just lunch. Yeah. You watch the Revenant, right? It's just <laughs> that's no, right. Yeah. There's very little hope there. There's no hope. Okay. Right. So, so part two, same question there. And any any preference on Western big game hunting with your arrow selection? 
Arrow bow combination, speed, momentum, energy. Okay. For the most part, I just ask Aaron what to do and then do what Aaron says. Fair enough. Uh, but I do, after hanging out with Aaron as much as I have um, and learning a little more, I want a heavier arrow. And because I'm using fixed blades, broadheads, different states, you know, like Aaron, I've been able to tune the bow a lot better at 280, 285 feet per second. So I kind of get the heaviest arrow I can get with that speed. And I don't exactly have a monster draw length and stuff like that, so uh, it's a ch bit of a challenge. I'm not shooting logs like Aaron, but. Just trying to get it done, right? Yeah. All right. So Aaron, final question here of my segment. Let's just say there was some world catastrophe, right? And you were limited to pursue one species. Would you prefer blonde, brunette, or redhead? Brunette, okay. without a doubt. You, you met Amy. She's <laughs> six foot brunette. Hey, just, man. I just checking. As a history, while we're talking about this, large breasts and brunette and tall, pretty much so, down the line, man. A couple <laughs> variances there. My ex-wife, five ten brunette, thirty four double D. Uh, Jody. X, 5'9", brunette, 34, triple D, and uh, Amy, 5'11", brunette, and 34, double D. So if you're brunette and you're tall, I'm probably going to be looking at it when you're not paying attention to my peripherals. Hey, you know, <laughs> having that focus in what you're pursuing is huge, right? The way I look at it is like some guys... If you can only hunt one yeah, game. Yeah, I mean, some guys well, are Well, no, I said pursue, right? Yeah. Pursue. I said pursue. pursue. So... Yeah, well, that's all I've got for you guys today, man. I know you weren't probably expecting that one, but... Uh, if it's brunette, it's down. <laughs> <laughs> See, I can't edit this. Huge shout out to Aaron and Brian for participating in our street interviews. If you guys haven't checked them out, uh, check out grittybowman.com. Tons of great content in their podcast. They do a great job. So looking forward into the next show on the Alpha Show, we're going to have a product feature and it is gonna be my carbon defiant. This bow may look like many you've seen out there, but it's really not. It's a custom bow build that I'm really excited about and I wanna, I wanna tell you all about it. In addition to that, we're gonna have another special on some street interviews. We're gonna to continue to work the street challenges and street interviews, product features, and we're gonna start mixing some product reviews as well as uh, some gear and shooting tips. So, I, I want to just remind everyone that this show and a lot of the, the information, the content, the tournaments that we have coming forward are not possible without our partners. So um, Mountain Ops, huge, uh, huge thank you to Mountain Ops. Check out their stuff, mountainops.com. Also, Hamski Archery Solutions. We've got the promo code if you're in the market for a new Hybrid Hunter Pro Rest, as well as Maven Optics. Check out their promo code that they've given us as well for some free swag. Um, the next thing I want to highlight, just as far as some, a teaser for, for upcoming events, is the announcement of the cash payouts for the Alpha Challenge series. I just want to let you know I'm very excited about this because we've been able to uh, work our magic and we're going to be kicking out some huge cash payouts at our events. So make sure you're tuning in for that. You can find out exactly what we're playing for at the Alpha events. Next. If you haven't checked out the book I wrote, I wrote a short book uh, for bow hunters, all bow hunters, not just bow hunters with target panic as, as I once had. Uh, and it's, it's targeting buck fever. That book is on Amazon as an ebook as well as a paperback. Uh, we will be uploading our audio uh, version of that to the Alpha Bow Hunting page on the store. That should be up soon as well. In addition to that, on our store, February 20th is when pre registration opens for the alpha bow hunting events so make sure you get pre-registered we're going to have a, a few extra items that we're going to be announcing for that as well in the next few episodes so that's all i've got for this show you know as bow hunters i just encourage you as we all are bow hunters to dream big and shoot straight <laughs>